So my, my story began uh, about three and, a, no, three and a half years ago now, when I was diagnosed with prostate cancer um, here at uh, Royal Marsden, which then led to three years of treatment, um, which is taken in radiotherapy, chemotherapy, and I'm also on a trial, an immunotherapy trial, um, which we hope will help um, with the recovery, particularly in relation to the chemotherapy we have. So it's been difficult, really quite difficult. Well, I'd like to thank the trustees of the Oak Foundation for this truly transformational gift towards the Royal Marston Hospital. Uh, we're developing the Oak Cancer Centre um, in outer London and this will make an enormous difference to our ability to improve the diagnosis and treatment of patients and ultimately uh, improve survival for patients globally. And the Royal Marston wants to be there for everyone who needs us. The Oak Cancer Centre will allow us to do that and to have a much bigger role in the earlier diagnosis of patients, which we know improves survival. The cancer centre that we will build in Sutton uh, will make a, an enormous difference to our approach to patients. It will bring together more than 300 uh, researchers. Many of them are world class, working to improve uh, the outlook and care of patients with cancer not just at the Royal Marsden, not just in the UK, but also hoping to influence the standard of care throughout the world. I think a unique aspect of this building is that it co-locates um, truly world-class clinical researchers in the same building um, that patients are receiving treatment in. And we think this is going to be really important for supporting the bench-to-bedside scientific loop that really helps accelerate uh, novel treatments and breakthroughs into the clinic for patient benefit. And to give you an example, um, immunotherapy is one of the biggest breakthroughs in cancer treatment in a decade. It has transformed the lives of patients with stage 4 melanoma and some of these patients are now being cured. And this ability for researchers to discuss their findings and the potential application to other tumour areas uh, will massively help develop treatments more quickly and potentially also with those tumours that are harder to treat. Our estate, so the environment that we work in, is anything between 50 and 150 years old. So although we cram in the latest technology, the best researchers, the best nurses and doctors, we're working in a state that is of a different generation. And that causes us some challenges. And that's why this project, the Oak Centre, is really so exciting for us. And it's going to make such a huge difference to our patients, both now and in the future. It's a very interesting development to have a, a research facility that really brings a lot of the skills into one, <coughs> one place, a lot of the knowledge into the one place. I think all of us who um, are in the position where we, we have cancer <coughs> want things to speed up. And so the sooner that a trial can move to reality, the better. And I think that's really what this new centre is really going to be trying hard to do. So I'm very pleased to be sitting at the Marsden, <laughs> being looked after by a great team here, um, who <clears throat> can only benefit from, from the work the centre is going to do.